Okay. Let's troubleshoot my dough here. Let's troubleshoot my dough here. Um, this looks pretty good, right? This is what I'm putting out, um, shaping into my boulets and putting out. And it, it makes a pretty good loaf, very good. But I'm finding these lumps in it. And so you, I break open the lump and it's just this dry flour that hasn't incorporated into the rest of the batch. Now, granted, I am mixing up 20, about 24 cups of flour into 12 cups of water. So, you know, I think I need to be a bit more careful. And instead of just add it all, see that looks pretty good, but if you feel it, you could feel the lumps. So, this is Nehemiah. He's my constant helper. Mommy, I'm very glad he's Mommy, here. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, just a moment, then you can take pictures. Anyway, so I think that I could prevent these lumps by adding the flour a little bit at a time and stirring it in a little bit at a time instead of just. You know, I'm always just trying not to lose track of my count. So I'm like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not, you know, so <laughs> why am I counting for you? You know how to count. Anyway, I'm always trying to not lose my count and I get it all in there and then I stir it all up because my goal is that this one's easy, fast, stupid. It doesn't take a ton of work. Although I love kneading bread and making something beautiful. I don't have hours. So. I think that that's a little too fast. I think I need to add a little bit at a time. So the original recipe asks for 13 cups of flour, I think. So maybe I'll just do like eight at a time and then stir it and eight. That'll take me to 24. So I'll let you know if that gets rid of my lumps. Anyway, God bless you. I've got an olive loaf and a regular loaf. This is my nicest looking one. This is the one I mess with the least. My olive loaf I probably mess with the most to get the olives in. Um, got my cookies, thus I have nothing to do with my bread. And then these two loaves are not looking beautiful, but I promise you when they're cooked, they're gonna look great. And um, I might have messed with them a little too much, but as much as making bread seems like it's a science, it's also just good ingredients and a little bit of time and there's a lot of room for screwing up as long as you're not some sort of stuck up nose chef from another country. But for us good old Americans who like to color outside the lines, I think we'll be just fine. All right, bye.